In every major racing series, there's always a debate. Is it the car or is it the driver? It doesn't matter what type of racing it is, open wheel, stock car, off-road, dirt track, street race, enduro, or anything else. It's an argument that will never get settled in any ordinary race. That's because in all our top racing series, Formula One and IndyCar, NASCAR, and Rallycross, all the richest teams dominate. An underfunded driver may enjoy the occasional victory lap here or there, but will rarely be crowned that season's champ. Yet, there's one type of racing in America where the amount of money you have or the size of your sponsor doesn't matter. It is taking over indoor tracks in business parks and shopping malls, and it truly puts the driver in the driver's seat by making everyone race in the same equipment. In this sport, anyone who is tall enough and old enough can show up and speed through a tricky course in slick, high-tech, Italian-made, Formula One-inspired electro pro carts capable of reaching highway speeds. In these races, anyone can show up and try to be the fastest to top the leaderboards, to win a league, to qualify for a national competition, or to simply torment their friends or co-workers. Until the next time. With indoor e-karting, there is no question. There is no debate. With indoor e-karting, it's not the car. It's the driver. For years, go-kart racing has been the gateway to more serious racing. Even though drivers like Lewis Hamilton, Michael Schumacher, and Jeff Gordon all got their start racing karts, karting itself isn't always taken seriously. One weekend last August, indoor electric go-kart racing staked its claim as a serious sport in the World Karting Association Sanctioned American E-Kart Championship, or AEKC, at Accelerate Indoor Speedway located near Chicago, Illinois. Bringing together 24 of the most talented drivers from all over the country, the AEKC featured a grueling two-day format where drivers would race two courses, forward and backward, for a chance at a $10,000 cash prize, which was more than winners take home from some second-tier professional races. Long before the racing started, track owners, general managers, and spectators from all of the tracks started making predictions. Been having a lot of fun, really excited for my guy to finally get out there and compete with the guys who just arrived a little later, missed the practice session. Feeling really good about it so far. So far it's been great. All the drivers are really excited. Can't wait for my guy to get out, uh, out on the track and put the smack down on everybody. While no driver had an easy path to qualifying, a few laps of practice made it clear that it was anyone's race. On the next episode of American e -Kart Championship Anyone's Race, we follow Aaron as he battles new and up-and-coming racers on his quest to win two AEKC championships in a row.